For now, we got we got a content cop to watch, my nigga. Where's the content cop at? Here we go. All right, are we ready? <sighs> Let me get my headphones in, man. Clearly, I'm gonna need to hear all this shit. I'm gonna make sure my ears ain't clouded, nigga. I took a shower ahead of time, nigga. My shit's clean, nigga. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I'm ready for it. Oh man, this is about to be a motherfucking roast on a whole nother level, dog. All right, are you boys ready? Let me get, let me get a ready in the chat if you boys are ready for this. I hope you didn't watch it yet, man. First time reaction, we gotta do this shit together. All right, hope you didn't hope you didn't watch it. Um, Raymond Ferris, thank you for the spawns, love, man. Let's fucking go. Make this bitch full screen. Let's fucking go. I'm gonna turn the volume up just a little bit. Let me know if it's too loud or too low. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, this is the, this is the only part that I watched up to. So let me. What we do here is what's that sound? There's something else playing on my fucking computer. Nani Surune, what's going on? Oh wait a minute, I had city. What the fuck, nigga? I had city sound effects in my background. What the hell am I listening to on this playlist? I don't know what the hell is going. All right, whatever. Let's just start it up. All right, we, we ready? Yo, Luke, what's going on, bro? Ah. What's going on, Luke? He says, um. Where's the Hershey here? Also, you gonna talk about the Nintendo YouTube bullshit, man? That's a, that's a, I could go on the whole stream with that shit, man. I'm just gonna save it for my video, which you'll be seeing soon, I think. What the fuck? I know this content cop shit is gonna be raw, man. I, just, I almost want to skip to the part where he just starts roasting niggas, man. All this damn skip bullshit. And it usually has a meaning though, so I mean, let's, let's see what the buildup is for. My Hero Academia. Yeah, there's a lot of things you niggas want me to watch. I know, I know. But this one has to go down. What's he looking for? What's down there? What's down there, I done? What's going on? What Hello, the everyone. fuck? Welcome back to another episode of Chan Chen. Chan Chen. Top. Jackie Polly Chan Chen. Okay. Chop. Drooling, leaking out of mouth. I want a Jackie Polly Con Champ Chop. Cow Chop or Chan Chen. Oh, yeah, niggas have been asking for this for a long time. Chan Chung here. If niggas have won this, this video with the sole intention to watch me Yo. lampoon Good. this guy who's been made fun of for the past three months. Luke. You're going um, to be sorely disappointed. What? Because this video is not about this obnoxious, arrogant asshole. Nani? It's about an entirely. Hold on, I got, I got, a, I got a package. I got to get. Give me a fucking bored by watching this nigga on I mean not no no offense to I dubs and shit you know I'm a, I'm a big fan and all that but nigga this shit is boring me man this better get to the point but wait a minute he's saying that this isn't about Jake Paul this isn't about little brother Jakey My dick. another donation Jake coming in from Lime saying yo play I don't know what the fuck that he says play Gundam versus chargeback boys is what Gundam versus chargeback boys out wait I don't Okay, thanks a lot, Lime. Gundam Versus is a game that he wants me to play, man. I might be able to do it later, but now's not the time. We're here to see this nigga Jake get destroyed. But apparently, I'm pausing donations. I can't keep up. Sorry, guys. I'm going to pause them temporarily. I'll play them again once I'm done with this shit. I have to focus here, all right? What the hell is going on? Don't worry. If you donated, you'll see it after this, okay? A different obnoxious, arrogant asshole. What? You might Why, be scum? i surprised with who this video is what? actually about. I'll give you a hint. He's very boastful. He's you! A video on me. Dinga 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 dinga. He's boasting That's right, everyone. I'm talking about Asian Jake. Oh, stop! Woo hoo! Oh, no! Oh, no! No, no, no! Stop it! Stop it! He's roasting rice. Oh, he's got beef. He's got beef on his head. Oh no! He's roasting rice. This nigga's roasting rice gum! Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! Little brother Jakey 
Try to roast me? What? <laughs> oh no. Okay. It's about to get real. It's about to get real. Oh shit. Good. Oh shit. Okay. All right. Calm down. Calm down, nigga. All right. I wasn't ready for this. My heart wasn't prepared for this situation. This is an unseen. This is an unseen variable, nigga. I don't know what's going. What's going on? Okay. Now I'm ready. Thank you very much to Ripper Chameleon saying it's my first donation to a streamer. I love the content. And I'm glad my money is going to help those affected. Stay strong. No, definitely. Thank you. Thank you for the generosity, man. All right. Headphones on. Video up. Play button. And just drop it on my head. You Holy can't just do shit. that. I'm it's doing time. that. I'm doing it right now. If you were to make a rice gum content cop, I mean, that would blow him up even more. Oh no, I didn't title it that. I guess I'm not gonna blow up. So he's trying to get views? <laughs> oh, he- Paulie, you've made a wonderful skate. He named this- Wait, 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 okay, okay. I got- I'm, I told you I'm gonna keep pausing it throughout. This is 30 minutes. We're gonna be here for a long time. He named the video Jake Paul just so he could avoid rice gum saying it was about him in the title so he could get the views off of him. This nigga Idubs is fucking insane. <laughs> I gotta give him props there. He did not want to give him the satisfaction of using that as a claim to fame right there. Don't you hate it when there's YouTubers that use that argument? I've had it used against me before. Oh, all you want is to get views off of my name in your title. Fuck your views, nigga. I'm doing it because you're a piece of shit. The stuff with the views and the money, that's a side effect of me exposing you're a piece of shit. You get it? It's not the goal, it's the side effect. Anyways, let's continue watching this shit because this is about to get real. Okay. So I don't have to give this bit of mucus the satisfaction of having his name in the title or his face in the thumbnail. Now that all of that is out of the way, we're going to react to a video that this hype beast released about a year ago, essentially begging for a content comp. I, I don't really care at all, but I kind of really want him to make one on me. I really don't care, but I kind of really want him to make one on me. These are quite obviously conflicting statements because Nani? you have no idea what strategy Berserk, to thank actually you. go with. Should I be super confident and act as if I want a content cop, or should I act as if I don't care at all? I don't know. Let's try both. Yeah, he seemed like really back and forth. He'll bring up some old pictures of me from way back then when I No one gives here. a fuck. Oh shit. Talking about. He looked it's a like little cute. He looked a little cute. Thought, this is all this guy does is roast people's appearance. I could stave off all criticism by showing pictures of myself when I was a goofball kid. Yeah, I you're not like gonna get rid of when it. You're a goofball kid. That's These niggas. Fine. I'm telling you, man. Rice gum. Right. Test me. These, yo, I'm telling you, man. Rice gum is guilty of that shit, bro. These motherfuckers out here, they watch Eight Mile with Eminem, and they suddenly think that, oh, if I expose all of my darkest details from my past, then I'll be able to get away from being roasted. Wrong, bitch. You still gonna get it, all right? You still getting it. Don't worry about it. You still getting the work. Red Dragon Gamer 101. Thank you for the sponsorship, my boy. Hey, you should show the clip of you saying the rape comments is what you should be What? Doing. The rape comments? Nani? What? Well, he raped you? No, but did it feel good though? How long like, did the rape last for? Five minutes or less. Oh, okay. So it's not that bad. But did you sue him and shit or no? Guys, if you want to rape her, she won't sue you, so. If you were to make one on me, what would you say? It seems like he wants to move past. Nani? <laughs> right, <laughs> Oh no, okay, okay, <laughs> that is clearly a fault. We have Sir Lance 45 with $40, man. Why didn't you get 40? <laughs> I'm trying to make it, I don't give a five much you get, man, but thank you, he, he gave 40, I'm just joking, because your name's 45, you get the joke. Why did Rice Gum say that? Even in a joking context, man, you shouldn't be playing around with stuff like that on the internet. It's 2017, dog. You know damn well you got no place saying that kind of shit on the internet. How far back was that, dog? Where I does be finding this shit? Where this nigga be finding all these clips, man? I don't know. This is crazy. We're only three minutes in. All right. Continue. Headphones in. We're going to be here for a long time, boys. I can tell you that for a fact. This shit ain't over. This is one. This is a wild ride. This is a wild ride, my boy. I ain't ready for this one. <sighs> okay. Headphones in. Come on, man. Etika, we got a long video to go. You niggas are going to have to help me. I can't take this shit. Motherfucking Christ Almighty, three minutes and we already got heat like this. This is too hot. Ah, 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 ah. Ooh, the edge. Ah, nigga, damn. Ooh, this is too damn hot. Ooh, ooh. Ah, 
Ah, ah, it's burning. Too much sauce. <laughs> what made me a burger? Too much sauce, nigga. <laughs> I gotta wash that later. I don't want to. Oh, shit. This shit just started, bro. What? Uh, yo, Big T with a one hundred dollar donation. What Fuck. is this? He says, "Yo, I haven't seen you in a while." Fuck, man. Yeah, it's uh, I don't want to tell you what I've been doing, but I'm glad to be back now. You knew it wasn't gonna be permanent, man. Y'all knew I was gonna come back. Don't act all. Yo, my man, Big T, though. Shout out to you, bro. All right, are we ready? I gotta put my damn lip balm on. Mmm, mmm. Forehead looking glistening right now. What my forehead always looking so shiny for? My shit always be looking like it's a damn crystal ball. You can see the future in my shit. That's how shiny that shit is, man. Look at that shit. Bing! I can hit niggas with the ah! <laughs> hit niggas with the solar flare, bro. Just be like, zing! Blinding motherfuckers. All right, are we ready? Whew, turn the AC up. Turn the fucking AC up, bro. It's too hot in here. It's too damn hot in here. So we're not even going to be able to do the drinking game. The one where I take half a shot for the fucking... Everyday bro comments because I literally can't. It's not about Jake Paul, nigga. Oh, shit. Yo, Big T, thank you, man. I'm sorry I'm not giving you your donations that much, like, hype right now. I don't mean to be ignoring you guys. That's definitely not the point. But it's just, this this IDUF shit kicked me off guard, all right? It did. Let's continue. I'm sorry to be delaying so much. Let's go. All right, y'all ready? Let's do it past the rape comments and I don't blame him I would want to move past those as well but I'm not gonna let him off the hook that easy because it seems like he has this disregard for what he can be criticized for what really you say and I just want to spell it out hey dumbass you did something stupid in the past you can be criticized for it if you do drop a video on me I swear to god I'm dropping the best diss track ever oh shit so now we have a retaliation from rice gum that we can expect this is crazy. Yo, Big T, once again, thank you for helping me out and helping up the Vegas victims, too. But, yo, thank you. I mean, goddamn. Okay, okay, I gotta stop. I'm not gonna be able to get through. Let's, so let's continue. Much weight. When have I heard that before? And I think I'm gonna drop a dish pack, so if this video gets more than two likes, but me and KSI about to drop a banger. Oh, what should we do, bro? Isaac, thank you. Dish track. Dish track. Is that Jacob Santorius? I'm working. We're about to be working all night overtime. In the brief this nigga's promised this tracks never delivered. Managed to commit all seven of the deadly YouTuber sins. So that's the theme for today's video. Nani? Seven deadly Good. sins. It's basically just seven topics. I just wanted to be cute. KY, thank you, bro. Hold on a second. All right, so seven topics, man. Thirty-minute video. Only 26 minutes in, bro. Um, he says, I'll try not to meme about the shooting, but here's some dodge for the victims. Make sure to have a stream next Friday, the 13th. I'll get you something to fit the spooky month. Yo, there's a lot to talk about. It's Halloween season now, man. Yeah, Yes, KY. We will go into that in more detail later on. Trust me, your boy's been cooking up some shit. Uh, I know the name that's going to be popping up the most after I say that shit, but you know what? That's for later. Right now, it's about this. Thank you, though, K. Damn, this is some law and order type shit. Some done done type shit. That's fucking gross. City of angels? Huh. That's fucking gross. More like city of devils. Oh my gosh, the press is going wild out there. Okay, no. <laughs> testing, testing, pussy, one, two, three, pussy. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jimmy Dean of 10 News, and I'm standing in front of a horrific murder scene that happened just hours ago. Mm -mm -mm. I've already spoken to the police. Like and all they could tell us was <laughs> that the murder might have something to do with the organization or cult known as the Hype Beasts. This is a satanic cult I'm that a has hype been beast? involved in numerous murders, shootings, killings, and homicides, and also is rapes. That Sometimes Robot. they rape babies. We are going to investigate it. What the we're fuck? Gonna find some answers because the police aren't giving us very many answers, and we're going to get down to the bottom of it. Uh, back to you, Cheryl. Fuck. Nigga got the lotion. Yo, let me get a lotion bottle in the chat. Bro, she'll let me pipe her shit. Yeah, bro, she definitely wants to fuck me. Bro, she low-key got some titties. I think she's 16 to 15. I don't lie, bro. What? She got some titties on her. Bro. What? When it comes to showing off the uh, rapper lifestyle- Nani? Aji Pro, thank you. Holy shit! Rice. Wait, how old was he when he said that, though? Was he- Because Rice is a young dude, right? Isn't the dude, like, fucking 20 or something? Wait a minute. 
style, Context. whether it be with women or money. He has the most generic taste imaginable. Let me it is pile true, 14 women in front of me to show you he looks so I, out of place I get there. women. Do you believe that I'm not gay yet? I'm trying to make up for that time when Fousey was basically fondling me for a minute straight on video. Check out these next clips where I basically lie to some girls on my stream. No, but I'm not streaming though. I just wanted to call you. Oh, you're not? No, no. I just wanted to call you and just talk. I'm not live right now, right? No, no, no. Basically, we were just chilling on Omegle. She didn't know that I was live to 3,000 people. With a lot of these interactions, it's sort of the ends justify the means because by the end of the stream, they're giddy with excitement because they got all these new followers for appearing on the stream. Bro! Oh my gosh! You are lying to me? You're such a goofball! But of course, they won't always act so coy she when got you've pissed. been caught lying to them. So you know those messages you sent me saying that it was only streamed once and that it was not recorded and no one else would get it? Oh, well, yeah. I've been sitting here watching your stream oh, no, for like no. an hour. And I you replayed it. And even after that happened, it's like he didn't even realize that it was a bad thing. And she found that it was pretty funny. I just fucking dipped and then uh, just wait till the last clip, homie. You shouldn't just do that without talking to people. I love. Holy shit! This nigga's an asshole. asshole! Speaking of recording people without their knowledge, there's a YouTube video he deleted about a year ago that's uh, called Netflix and Chill. It's a story time video. No, I show her where my bathroom is. She goes. And for some reason, she leaves Yo. her phone on the couch, right? So I'm on some Curious George. You know, I want to go through her phone. So I'm going through her Curious phone. Curious George! And I'm looking through her messages. And tell me why she texts like 10 other dudes. Are you awake? I don't even feel special anymore. And well, I feel dude. like I'm just another option to her. Oh, he doesn't feel special anymore. Oh, too bad. You hear that, ladies? I wonder what he's going to do now that he doesn't feel special. Wait, so the nigga found her phone and saw there was mad niggas on there. So now he's getting pissed off? All right, so... Now, that is a little bit... You shouldn't even be looking at the phone in the first place, my boy. All right, listen. Curious George, whatever. But he looked at the phone. That's fucked up that you did that. That's invasion of privacy right there, my nigga. But okay. So what happens next? Because now I think this is going to get fucked. Special. And I feel like I'm just another option to her. So I'm like, you know what? I'm about to get some payback and just put her ass on the internet. Payback for what again? To dox her? Because you weren't their first choice to sleep with? You're going to dox so him? I set up the hidden camera, man. I sit back down. And out of nowhere, again, he starts calling me or whoever. It just starts calling my phone and she finds the hidden camera so i see you made it to the end of the video man based on a true story what if it is a parody of story time videos Happen. and you're admitting to almost committing a crime by recording someone without their knowledge of you having sex with them you'd think you'd at least be intelligent enough to say guys this was a joke this was a pair the nigga was gonna make a sex tape Put her ass on the internet. Put her ass on the internet. Put her ass on the internet! You should plaster parody all over it. You shouldn't say at the end of it. Based on a true story. I completely understand why you delete that video. It sort of ruins all future prospects of you having sexual intercourse with anyone. At the end of the day, it's just another example of you being stupid, despite you saying... What would he say? He would be like, Oh, Red Skull bullies people. Yahoo! Oh, he's gonna, he thinks he's going the same angle again? Oh, no. Gluttony. Here we For go. this next segment. Did, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Did you guys see that video Rice Gum made recently? It was one where he was like showing off his sneaker collection and he's like trying to flip. Here's the thing about Rice Gum. I'll admit, man. I'll be 100%. He... He likes to low-key flex. He's always like, oh, I'm so grateful for my fans and all this other shit and all that. But the nigga, he be on camera showing off his watch, flexing all this other extra bullshit, talking about his house. Oh, I have a multi-million dollar this and that. I don't need it. I just care about the fans. and all. It's like, Rice, you're not smooth with your shit, you know? Like, niggas know you're just trying to fucking overcompensate for some shit, bro. Like... Relax, my nigga. Remember when he made that video talking about, oh, I get paid this much off of YouTube. I'm living life. I'm doing good right now. It's like, some people, I guess, vibe with it. And it doesn't make him an evil person for it, but he's kind of bullshitting, you know? It's like, okay, we get, like, we, we, we get it. Let's continue with the video. Man, watch the fucking I does make a video on me, me fucking completely just ripping his fucking content, putting it on live stream, but this isn't going to be uploaded by me, all right? I'm not uploading this shit. It's your choice if you want to. You can make clips of it, but the reaction, the live thing, it's just meant to be live between you and me. Don't, don't, don't talk about this too much, all right? Keep this a secret between me and you. All fucking 9,000 of you niggas. I'm going to remove myself as a critic, and instead I'm going to speak as a fan. Because me and all the other fans want to know 
what happened to the clickbait challenge winner. And last but not least, make sure to put hashtag clickbait challenge in the description because at the end of two weeks, the video with the most views will win a humongous prize. So go out, get creative, Ten grand? let's get clickbaiting. Yeah, but we're still waiting for the winner. You didn't announce wow. it. Not on YouTube, not on Twitter, not on Facebook. This nigga Rice is doing his homework. Not even well, on Google Plus. I keep mixing the names up. You don't have to divulge any private information. It was a public competition where there's a public winner, the, the person who got the most views within those two weeks, who used hashtag clickbait challenge. He's an there asshole. There's one that. thing that you really shouldn't say, and that's uh, something along the lines of, I'm not going to announce the winner because I respect their privacy. I'm not live right now, right? No, no, no. Whoa. That's dark, dog. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with having expensive taste. Uh, the problem arises when you're obnoxious about it. Eight hundred dollar off white. Three thousand dollars. Four hundred and fifty dollars. A thousand dollars. One point three thousand dollars. Guess how much? Niggas a flex beast. How much do you think this jacket was worth? How $1, much do you think? Sixteen hundred dollars. He's a flex beast. Let's go out and spread positivity. Uh. Guys, it's all about that positivity. Are you dead ass? Rice go. Oh, you gotta take an L for that one. What the fuck? Who does this nigga think he is? Now we're talking about some... This is... this. That's... You remember the whole thing when pranksters were all the talk and, like, they were doing fucked up shit just to get views off of homeless people? This nigga is literally making it rain on a guy more unfortunate than him. And he's bragging about the shit. What the fuck is this, Rice? Eww. Eww. We can all privately laugh about making it rain on homeless people. On a homeless like, man! Friend, like, yeah, we're fucked up. I can't believe we did that. But I don't think most people would upload it because they'd realize that how any comedic value looks. is completely overshadowed by how much of a faggot you appear to be. Exactly! This seems like an appropriate time to show you this great opinion. No, but all seriously, I'm probably like one of the few YouTubers that use the money I make from YouTube to like buy stuff to make my videos better. He will That's often garbage, flex man. in his music videos. Nice twenties, I need blue on the my bills. Yo, it's like iDubs is saying what we've all been thinking, but there hasn't been anybody to say it with a large enough voice, man. This nigga Rice be fucking, be, be, he just be fucking, fucking fake flex, and it's not, it's not even fake because you know he has the money and all that shit. But it's like, it, it, it's, it, it, it's so obnoxious. Like we got this nigga be fucking, ah, obnoxiously flexing, man. It's like it's so tasteless. There's no taste to it. Wrist looking like the 50 bands from the flex so my wrist I put some ice on He will also flex on random people in the street There's a store called Supreme and they dropped this today And there's like this really long line like three miles like so I'm about to walk by and see the reaction Tell me something right now niggas I need to understand this Why the fuck do people buy that Supreme shit? I, I don't get what the appeal is It's a fucking white hoodie with some red box on it and white text Nigga if I, I don't get what the appeal is I'm sorry but let me, let me explain something to y'all, man. Let me let me show something. Just to say, like, I used to be one of those heads too, where it's like, oh man, you know, the more money you pay for it, the motherfucking better it is. And I get that mentality to an extent, but it's like that doesn't look good to me. Like, for example, you see these kicks right here? These are called Vlados. They're like a European company, I think, or something. They look kind of dope, right? These look kind of nice. Like, I, I like how the high top features are. Or this you know, thing, you know, it looks clean. Guess how much these shits are? Fucking 70 bucks. And these look way better than some of these ugly ass kicks you be seeing out here that be costing like fucking 500 plus, 600, 1000 plus. These shits are 70 bucks. I like these so much. These look so dope. I got motherfucking two pairs of them. So I mean, you fuck the how much it costs, man. Let's just focus on how good it looks, all right? If you're going to be obnoxious, if you're going to be talking all this shit about your outfit, your wardrobe, at least make sure it look good. Some of this shit don't even be looking good. Motherfucking white hoodie. Oh, like, I know these all white niggas. These all white niggas be all hyping about this. Oh, yeah, oh, man, fuck that. Yeah. Fuck off, white. But that's just more of an opinion thing, I guess. Still, do what you want to do with your own money, of course. But the way that he portrays it is a little bit trash. I'll just say that. Some people think the whole term of trashy applies to people who aren't in financially sound positions to buy a bunch of fancy shit. But you can be trashy and be rich as fuck, nigga. Ugh. But he's not evil for that. It's just an opinion on it. But, you know, he's not, he's not like a horrible person. Now, the whole rape thing. Now, that's a little bit, mm, a little questionable. So he's walking by them with the hoodie on? It's very hard to convince his fans that he is not 
flexing on them. I would never flex. Remember when I said, yo, I'm telling you, this dude, fucking items the same. He pretends like he's not flexing, but he is flexing. He's like, oh no, I love the fans. I'm all about, you know, spreading positivity and shit. But look at this fucking watch I bought. This bitch is like $300, $400. Actually, this watch is $500. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm, okay, let's continue before I get a content cop made on me. The fans never. The, the full Arcana, thank you. And also a big thank you to um, X Winger Dinger. Appreciate that, man. And Wiener Dinger. Flexing on the haters. I'm not trying to flex on you guys at all. You guys are the reason why I have money. Well, there comes a point where you have to realize that your fans watch your videos more than your haters watch your videos. So you are flexing on your fans. One of the only decent points he's yeah. ever made is in this video where he compares his life to the life of the rich kids of Snapchat. And there were a lot of similarities, go figure. But by the end of it, he says, If, you know, me, I don't match your personal preferences, there's probably someone out there that will match your personal preference. So go I remember seeing that else. video, actually. I think that's a perfectly fair statement. But you shouldn't preface it by saying, Guys, I'm not showing off I'm rich. These are just things that I do on an everyday basis. You absolutely are showing off. Yeah, you're just showing off. Just fucking own it. If you're Bullshit. showing off, you're showing off. Own it! Also, yes. he does this horrible skit where he pretends to have a normal life. A lot of people don't know this, but like, I just act rich and try to show off all these cool things on camera. But as soon as the camera turns off, I just have a normal life. One thing I'll say is that Rice Gum knows how to act. He, it's like he took drama classes or something. This nigga, he be making a show. Like I don't have I love much problem He's with an it actor. being an inaccurate portrayal of a normal person's Chris life. Chris Raygun. But he's just fucking lazy. Heaven forbid you I'm not film sure who the hell that is. outside or at a friend's house or you, though, anywhere that isn't a multi-million dollar mansion so that the skit actually makes sense. He is extremely insecure and he makes it very obvious when he uploads videos like this where he details how much money he earns in a month on YouTube. Mm -hmm. There's like this video that has been it's going crazy true. viral, and basically in the video he shows how much money YouTube has paid him. Everyone just giving I remember him so much like props, last year. Like everyone loves him. This dude is getting so much street credit, I'm like, I want some street cred too. Last month well, I made a roughly $60,000. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's okay. It is actually my lowest paid month. That's, one that's, thing I you know, what a, views. that's I'm just, not sure what odds he's trying to improve. Come on, the okay. odds that uh, a female will finally see him as a suitable sex candidate because he has money. Or I the know, odds what was that the point of it? fan base will revere him more as a god. Uh-oh. This, I love how he broke this shit down. I don't often speak on the topic of stretching videos out to the 10 minute mark for the sake of more ad revenue. Particularly with the adpocalypse stuff going on. If that's some people's hustle, no problem with it. The problem is, when you don't actually fill that space with more content, you just stretch your outro out. Three minutes long, four really? minutes long. Really? He did that? That's fucking retarded. This nigga did that? Guys subscribe if you're new, comment, I read all comments. And now, I try to make this video somehow 10 minutes. Was that recent? Oh, come on. That's this. Maybe he only did it once. I do Maybe he only did One it once just for laughs. thing very disingenuous about is when he states that all of his videos are jokes. All of my videos are jokes. A lot of people don't understand this. People get actually mad at me like, yo, relax. All my videos are jokes. It's just for fun. I have no beef against this kid. No, they're not. And it's very obvious to anyone who watches your videos that they're not all jokes. Damn. You're not playing a character. All right, that is you. You are being yeah, he's being himself. Yeah. Oh no, I get it. You're you're so spineless that you want to have it both ways. You want to basically be able to say, yeah, I roasted this person in the past, but it was all jokes. It was all jokes. If you he want wants to suggest cake and that eat some too. amount of your videos are jokes, go for it. it. You know, it's very obvious to all of us that your beef with Logan Paul is just a bunch of fake shit. Oh no, Logan stole my clothes. What am I gonna do? Oh snap! <laughs> what the bro, fuck? Look at this, bro. Where's my supreme? It's fake beef. Babe? I that thought it was real. Fake beef. So if you want to call that, I a thought joke, it was real go beef. It. But you are undoubtedly the biggest fence rider on YouTube. You would just as soon make a diss track on Logan Paul as you would drop to your knees and suck him.
<laughs> what did you do to get sixty thousand a month? Did you did you suck? Congrats. Now we're gonna talk about the Gabby situation, and if you're not familiar with it, I'll bring you. Shout out to the sheep shit. These two are attending a party together. She goes up to him with Snapchat in hand okay. and says, "I challenge you to a freestyle." She's pestering him. She says, "You don't have your Ghost Rider here, do you, bitch?" He's obviously quite scared. So he does the only thing that he thinks he can do. And he, was, he fucking that. takes that phone and smashes it. Well, like a bitch. Or I could have did something about it. And I did something about it. I grabbed you know what? And I smashed it. You're and right. Like, enough he... is enough, you little stupid bitch. I smashed their phone. I smashed their phone. Only two options. That's it. That's all he has. You couldn't just there get up and walk away. Option. They got I know. It was like. And that's to play along with it. Yeah. There isn't even an infinite number of options that allow you to do any number of things that don't make you look like an asshole or a pussy. I can't just sit there and look like a it's, bitch. It's if true. If you are ever so terrified of being put in an improvisational situation that you thank smash you. someone's phone for fear of looking like a bitch, you sort of automatically just look like a bitch. I had two options that night. I could have walked away and looked like a bitch, or I could have did something about it. It's he like really said that? describing the thought process of a woman. A bitch. animal or a caveman i either run away or i smash those are the two options enough is enough you little stupid bitch i smash their phone oh, if you're a comedian if you and if all your videos are jokes oh shit. the first thing that comes to your mind is how can i turn this into a joke nope you got the ape brain i can't just sit there and yeah like he's guilty i just want to mention yeah, as he... a side note that when he was on drama alert he had said that when you go to these youtuber parties it's understood that you don't bring out your phone and you don't film people really without their permission these youtuber parties but you have people beeper. right take out phones or so, you ask permission people do film at those parties and you filmed at those parties filming's fine when people are okay with it he you caught aren't him. okay with it because you got bamboozled would you guys wow. like to hear the juiciest bit of hypocrisy? Real I shit. Through her phone, but I mean, if you're gonna record me at a party when I'm off guard. This girl literally came up to me in person, didn't ask me, hey Rice, do you mind if I vlog? She just came up to me, camera already on, and I was so unexpected. It kind of sounds like, he doesn't like Thank being you. recorded without his consent. How interesting. No, but I'm not streaming though. I just wanted to call you. Oh, you're not? No, I know. I just wanted to call you and just talk. Now, people are like, Bullshit. Risk it was streaming. Hypocrisy you, coming you through know. heavy. Get the fuck out of here, you sneaky. This nigga, I dubs, is exposing him. Fucking up my tempo. I don't even know why I, I even lied, bro. He can't come back from this. Way too much. Rice gum, I mean, you're, you're always going to have fans, but he he dissected him. He is very. Rice entitled. can't say anything. So entitled, in fact, that when he's not invited to a YouTube related event, he has to tell everyone about it. Instead, they decide to hook up like Tyler Oakley and these washed up YouTubers and fly them out and stuff and hook those guys up and not even- Oh yeah, remember? This right now. Remember? He was all like, oh, wait a minute. How are you not gonna have me at X and Y event when I grew 5 million subs in a year? I'm the fastest going channel on this. I re remember when he was going off like that? That was crazy. And he had Swoozy in the video too. And the nigga was like, oh, I can't believe it. They didn't invite you to this shit. And it's like, Rice, come on, dog. I mean, you're you're on the dark side of YouTube. You know damn well YouTube doesn't promote dark side niggas. Come on, bro. They want faces, not motherfucking diss track artists. I wasn't surprised by it, but he seems so offended. But you know what? Boys will be boys. <laughs> boys All will those be boys. Guys that are irrelevant now, but you know, just at least show respect to the. What can be humble? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on now. All these guys. Come on, make a fun, Rice, man. Sit down. Be humble. <laughs> Come on now. I mean, he expressed it once. If he only said it once, hey, you know, I didn't get in. Like, the way to say it would have been, hey, I didn't get invited to VidCon. But you know what? Maybe next year it'll work out. Even though I do feel like I had a big, I had a good run on YouTube this year. But, you know, one way or another, I'm still happy to be where I'm at. Thank you. I appreciate it. But didn't he go on a huge spiel about it? Talking about, oh, you are not fucked up. How could they do this to me? I feel betrayed and all this shit. It was like... Relax, my nigga. Relax, little nigga. You good. I can't understand whining like a bitch because you didn't get invited to YouTube Rewind. What I can't understand the rewind. At all yeah, that was is it. why you would bring up other YouTubers' names and talk about their numbers. Didn't I just explain the situation? I just did. told you. Just be like, hey, I'm sad I didn't get invited. But you know what? Next year. You don't got to bring up Tyler Oakley's dead channel. <laughs> Okay. Right here, I'm sorry if I'm calling you out. These people right here were popping in 2015, 2014. Like, but he called out. I actually remember when he did this too. It's just been a little while, but God damn. Like, were pop. 
Nigga called out Black Nerd Andre. Called out Gen X Pen. Hannah Hart, my heart though. Been in 2015, 2014, that's like so 2016, twisted. <laughs> like, who, like, there were so many people in the video that I was like, Who the fuck, like, who are these people? You are I so mean, stupid that you don't even realize that that question could be asked of you in a matter of years. I guess you should just hope that future relevant YouTubers aren't as mentally deficient as you. During this year Which at could VidCon, happen, yeah. there was this very annoying Instagram kid who was making a fool of himself this by not, just okay. Now, you know what, in terms of motherfucking evil niggas that need to be fucking eviscerated. That Instagram kid was definitely one of them. This nigga was a fucking douchebag. But um, I think we're about to get into that. Because I remember Ricegum had some really strong opinions about the guy too. Even myself. Didn't I talk about this guy on stream? I didn't like eviscerate him. But I mean, I taught like how fucked up he is. He was talking to that security guard and making it seem like, oh yeah, your, your existence doesn't matter because you don't have relevancy or money. But I mean, now the guy has more followers than him. So sweet irony, my nigga. Respecting the VidCon staff. He looks like a douche. He does. Wait a minute. Did you, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Go back. Someone in the comments, you did not just do that. Where's that comment? That nigga really? Okay, we, we got to, I, I, I got to expose somebody just now because I just saw someone comment that the dude looked like a douche. But the problem with it is how this nigga said it. Where is that fucking comment? Where is it? Oh, God, I can't find it. Damn, you niggas comment way too fast. I can't even expose... Okay, I found it. He even looks like a dude. You spelt that shit D-O-O-S-H? What, you thought I wasn't going to see that shit, nigga? What the fuck? It you, all right, you, you need a timeout for that shit. Sit down, man. Like, relax. You really think that's how you spell dude? <laughs> continue, continue. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. Of course, he had to make a video on this kid. You might be wondering what could he possibly criticize this kid for that he hasn't done himself. Not much. I cannot believe Mike hasn't. Actual oh no, he has. Oh, shit. Now, We get it, bro. You're rich and you're famous, but that does not give you the right to be mean and call these security guards irrelevant. Like they're literally just doing their job. Have all those guys that are irrelevant now, but hey, irrelevant, irrelevant. I feel like this guy thinks he's like above people. Like he was calling people peasants and irrelevant. Like you're irrelevant because they're irrelevant. Gabby Show, another pretty irrelevant YouTuber. In addition to being a hypocrite, he also thinks number. Whoa! Shit! He got him! Oh man, Rice? How is Rice Gum gonna respond to this? What can he say? He got him! It's a closed case! Nigga! The best way Rice can respond to this, just admit it. Admit the bullshit. Cause, nigga, if you make a diss track, if you try to come at iDubs with a diss track, boy, I'm not saying this as a avid, I'm fans of both of them. I like Rice Gum, I like fucking iDubs. But a diss track is not the way to go with this one, man. You're gonna make your, take a lesson from Leafy. That boy got killed too. And he, his reaction, just put the final nail there. He'll never get back to where he used to be. Don't make the same mistake, Rice. Admit your faults. I'm not saying this, I'm not saying this to you as an asshole. Or as some, like, and don't give me that whole, oh, you're just trying to profit off of my numbers and shit. Nigga, I don't need, I don't care about profiting off your numbers. All I'm saying is that nigga, Rice, man to man, my nigga, YouTuber to YouTuber, this isn't, this isn't you. You're not ready. You're not ready for this. You weren't ready for it, bro. Just be easy. Just admit it, because you're going to look stupid if you make a diss track. Oh, that's all I'm saying, man. That's all I'm saying. Fuck me, man. My bad. Nintendo fanboy, what's going on, man? Motherfucking Drama King himself. He says, Yo, Etika, you need to watch this right now. You might be fucked, or the Joy-Con Boys community will get fucked. This is not a joke. I swear on my dead best friend. Fanboy, what the fuck is this, man? You know, I automatically mention... Look, Nintendo fanboy has a lot of bullshit around him. And the thing is, I don't know... Uh, you've been charging back, nigga, something? I don't know what the situation is, man. But clearly, he came in here guns a-blazing. Because this nigga sent me a video talking crazy. I don't know if I'm going to watch this shit on stream, man, because, you know, it, it might be something that I don't even want to get involved with. I, not to say that I don't appreciate your donations and shit, man. Of course, you know, your donation will help to um, help out the people who were devastated by the Vegas attack. But I mean, Nintendo fanboy. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take a 
Joy-Con Tyler's Terror. I'll take a look at it later. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no. That's not Nintendo Fan. Joy-Con Tyler. I keep mixing. Y'all motherfuckers' names. I be mixing up, yo. Can y'all get some more original? Y'all yeah, niggas be making me mix up names and people. And, God damn it. Why can't y'all have cool names like Big T? Fuck, man. <laughs> Nintendo Nintendo fanboy Joy-Con Tyler. I don't know what the fuck's going on, man. God damn You see why I don't get involved? This shit is too confusing. Talking about the Joy-Con boys community. How many? All 500,000? <laughs> shit all right let's continue man fuck my life i'll watch the video later on all right i'll watch it later on this shit is just too much right now i want to see the other kind of drama this is the shit i need to see right here this is the shit i need let's go first mean everything jibriel thank you for the um is sponsorship Africa. who is this guy security guard made a social media and has more followers than that kid like what God damn. He has more followers than you. How do you feel? Calls him irrelevant when he's irrelevant himself. I don't know how he's missing the point. God it's almost damn. as if he thinks this kid's actions would be justified so long as he has the numbers to back it up. Him being an asshole cannot be justified by, by him having followers. like 200,000 followers. Owe you shit, no matter how fucking large your sub count is. Exactly. Dude, this guy has only 16,000 followers and he's talking like that. Imagine only 16,000 he's talking like that. Rice gum, you don't seem to get it. Like, here's, a, here's something that I can tell you guys right now. You can be the most despicable person, literally, filth of the earth, complete just garbage. You can be the worst human being and have millions of followers on YouTube, Insta, Twitter. Your following has nothing to do with your content of character. You can be a fucking asshole. And we've seen this played over. You can be even something evil, like a fucking child molester, and have millions of followers. None of that justifies you as a person, all right? So let's get that whole idea out of the way. I've preached this before to you niggas. Don't trust nobody. <laughs> That's a horrible lesson to teach, too, because it, it like teaches you to just completely disregard people and to like make it seem as if the world is against you. The world's not against you, of course, but don't trust niggas. I always tell you, don't trust me, nigga. What if you looked into my background and you found out I fucking threw a kid out of a window on some Michael Jackson shit? Guess what? If that was exposed on the internet, you'd be like, fuck Etika. Y'all niggas always be rallying behind me. Yeah, Etika, all this and all that. You don't know me, nigga. What if I did some fucked up shit? You have no idea. Don't trust me. Don't trust, don't trust yourself, nigga. Don't trust yourself. Fuck, you know that picture where the nigga got the gun? <laughs> the nigga got the gun and he's pointing a gun at himself? Don't trust anybody. Not even you. <laughs> you don't know what you'll do. <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen. God damn it. R real shit, man. Real shit. Look at Tabuscus. <laughs> I used to love one. Toby Games Highlights. I used to love them. <laughs> Do you like my sword, 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 my diamond sword? Only to find out, not to say that he, he, I don't think he raped anyone per se, but the nigga is a little bit deviant when it comes to his interactions with the opposite sex in the past. Allegedly. I'm not saying it's a fact. I'm just saying allegedly seeing footage from Philip DeFranco mention his relationship and how he interacted with Toby in the past. He allegedly has some fucked up interactions with female individuals, all right? Not facts, just a legend. But you know what, let's continue, all right? Fuck, I'm, I'm deviating way too much from the fucking point. Back to the right of fucking rice gum thing. YouTube viewers. Yes, if he had your YouTube viewers, he would be as arrogant and unintelligent as you. Bro, you're not viral at all. That's viral, all right? That's viral, you're- This dude is a piece of work. He's making this argument go somewhere else completely. Do you see the evolution of this? Rather, fuck the evolution. The degradation of this? Where Ricegum's whole thing in the beginning was, yeah, this kid, he's a bitch for, like, thinking he's better than people. You shouldn't, you shouldn't treat other human beings like that. Treat your man like you want to be treated. But suddenly, the argument goes from that of decent morality as a human to now, oh, you have no idea what it takes to be relevant and to have numbers and to have this influence you don't have it this is it i have it look at my thing this is how to be relevant this is how to be thriving and strong and, and powerful and an influence it's like whoa where did we get when did we get to that point nigga we were just talking about him being an asshole and now you're kind of doing the same thing it, 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 it devolved the whole thing just completely went off the rails i didn't see that particular video in its entirety i think i saw like a piece of it you're not viral, you need to relax. Miss, I got a million views. So like my last song got 13 million views. So can I call myself Mr. I got 13 million views? Like that's...
It's weird. It's kind of like whenever someone mm -mm -mm. brags themselves, he thinks that is now an opportunity. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, wait. I, I got I gotta see this. I gotta make sure my volume's good. Million views, so can I call myself Mr. I got 13 million views? Like, that's it's weird. It's kind of like whenever someone mm -mm -mm. brags, them. okay, okay, my bad. I just I gotta make sure my audio is good, man. I fuck you, niggas know me in the audio text, man. I gotta make sure. All right, and let's go. Need to brag because the focus is on them. Yeah, it's cool that you're helping out, you know, depressed fans, but this isn't something you like brag about, you know. I do this too, but you know, you don't see me bragging about it, but you shouldn't be bragging about it. I mean. I do all these things too, bro, but you don't see me making a song. You do not help out depressed fans. What are you fucking talking about? What? Because some kid emails you and says, watching your videos is helping my depression. Do I've you really that. need everything? Why in the world is it not enough to be a YouTube star who gets a lot of views by being an asshole? Why do you also then have to say, by the way, I'm also a nice guy who helps out depressed fans? One you gotta talk about... If you gotta talk about how nice you are, then nigga, you need to double check that statement, man. I don't know. I mean, like, because me saying that, I could just be playing devil's advocate and, and reversing the whole psychology just to be able to appeal to the argument. But I mean, my, my thing has always been actions speak louder than words. And a lot of the time, I don't fucking like to talk about the thing. I mean, like, you know the whole thing we're gonna do with the Vegas thing today? I could have easily just blown it up, made a fucking campaign and all this other shit. I mean, and. You know, me talking about it automatically means that, oh, well, that was in your head to blow it up or whatever. But no, it doesn't need to happen. What we'll do, we'll do inside. We'll do whatever, you know? Like, it, it's it's just, it's a very odd topic because talking about it, re it, it reveals that you think about it sometimes. So it's like, oh, that, I, I, I don't fucking know. But yeah, the, w the way that he went about it is kind of like raw. It's a little bit bleh. Notorious practices is to bring up people's names with the most feeble excuses. In the beginning, I really liked his videos. And I oh, at the beginning, you liked all my stuff, but like, what? So now, all my newer videos, you don't like it that much? Like, thank you, ago, you he thank tweeted, you. Gonna make a new channel where I only do roast and diss tracks so I can whore out everyone's name in the title. This tweet is probably about me. Alright, you got God PewDiePie damn. popped up, as you guys can see. I'm going on his likes tweet. It says, Rice Gum Starter Pack. As a result of this, really? he's constantly baiting out who the next diss track is this nigga is petty as is fuck. Is it gonna be on this person who has nothing to do with me and has never mentioned my name? Is it gonna be about this person who referenced an ambiguous Asian character? Wow. Wow. He's hitting him in the belly, dog. I don't think there's ever been a better way to inflate your own ego than fabricating your own genius video so you have an excuse to explain your lyrics. Hey, he did it himself? Wait, did Genius come you know, up to him? It's your boy Rice, you know, I got a ton of tweets, you know, Rice up, who's got church about, what's the song about? This isn't a Obviously joke. Obviously we know this what the song's a real about. real thing. On top of being a musician, he also thinks that he's a really good music critic. My first hit single, Every Nice Sis, is on the Billboard Top 100s, all right? This was the first official song I've ever done. Wow! Wow, that's incredible! Anyways, I just feel like I have a really good grasp on music. I can tell good music from bad music. I'm gonna tell you right now, as someone who's dabbled in rap for a couple years, <laughs> Rice Gum isn't bad as a rapper, but he damn sure ain't good. All right, I mean, lyric. Well, well it depends on what you look for. And here, here we go. The whole thing goes so many paths because if you're someone who likes an artist who's extremely lyrical, witty, punchlines, a bunch of like multi-syllable type raps. I mean, it depends on what you find good, right? Some of y'all may like, I mean, when it comes to my preference, I really like flow. If you can mix flow and multi-syllables, usually you have me on board. Um, now there's also witty kind of lyrics where it's like, oh, I see. Like it's Not really punchlines per se, but just really witty. I think Matt Houston is really good at this where he puts together these lines that you think about it a day later and you're like, oh, but, I like more of how it sounds, like, flow-wise. So, a rapper that I'll probably... I used to go with a lot was Pat Poos back in the day. So, I mean, seeing how Rice Gum raps, I get how some people like him. I can see the appeal in his style. But to me, personally speaking, it's not my cup of tea when it comes to lyrics. I usually just watch Rice Gum for the bullshit that he does in his videos. That's all, really. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, the song... Like, my favorite song by Rice Gum... It's hard to say. Good. <laughs> God damn it. The fucking donation came to a good... Uh, Shadow saying, nah, man. 
I will always rally behind you, man. Niggas need to learn to trust just as much, too. It's very true, you know? Like, I, yes, you gotta learn when... It, like, that, that's why I said I don't like the whole message of don't trust anyone because it seems so, like... I said it before, but you're like... I was joking when I said don't even trust yourself. I mean, who wouldn't trust themselves? Like, nigga, you're... you're, you're but... He, I get what you're saying, though, man. It's got to be a balance. Never is it 100% one thing over another. Make sure there's homeostasis here. Keep them both in check, nigga. Look, anything can be deadly if you do it too much, right? Let's continue. Basically, I know what the f*** is going on. There's a ton of YouTubers nowadays just trying to rap. They need to stop. I feel like he should stop making music and just stick to what he's good at. She's really not that good at music. She should really stop doing music and just stick to what she's good at. At least get better every song. Like, me, I don't think I'm the best, but I mean, I'm slowly working on my flow okay so he Literally said he's working on it okay <laughs> he gets credit there he's working this on it this is so rich to, to no i dubs he's working on it should stop making music because they're not improving it just sounds bad have you heard your own shit all your fans are 10 they don't know what they are doing but that's old stop this and me go find your top lip instead went from vines to trying to rap you should probably those are the older ones you can't judge them because you look like an ogre for mil us 700k i did not want to come out and say that he's a bad rapper man like i said there may be something in it for you if you're looking for attributes that you know you find appealing in a rapper you know that could be you you could like this style personally speaking in rap, it's not my kind of style. I like flow. I like multi-syllable. He doesn't do any of those. So his flow is kind of sloppy. And he doesn't do multi-syllable. So in my preference, no. I don't think he's a bad rapper. At least get better every song. Like me, I don't think I'm the best. These fucking... <laughs> these image crops. Lyric, you know, I'm trying to get better. You know? It is not a coincidence that your music has oh, improved God. since moving to LA. You're now utilizing a professional music studio yes. where someone else is mixing and mastering all your music. But he's writing probably his own shit, writing right? the catchy bits for you. You have oh. someone who's filming all the videos. He got for a ghostwriter. You, you still probably have the ghostwriter on paper. No you way! Have nothing to be both. Rice Gum has a ghostwriter? He needs to fire that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ah, god damn it, god damn it, this just gets worse and worse, when does it stop, I does? I can't do this anymore, the nigga has a ghostwriter, well, maybe that could be, maybe that could be debated, depending on when did he get the ghostwriter, has he been helping him out for a long period of time, or is this a brand new thing? Maybe there is no go. Maybe he's just accusing him of that, trying to be petty. That's what I think it might be. Boastful about you, fucking moron. Go back. Later on payroll. You have nothing to be boastful about, you fucking moron. He's such a faggot. Like these guys are just throwing stuff out there just because they get. Ben, Ben, what's up? They're just throwing out diss tracks because they get views. Yeah, I can't think of Isn't a that single other person who would do that. For mil US 700k. If there's one thing to take Damn. away from this video, it's that he doesn't want oh, no, to no. be known as a bitch. I can't just sit there and look like a bitch. I could have walked away and looked like a bitch. So I want you guys to keep that in mind going forward. Hashtag That's Rice Gum is a for bitch. The oh, God. portion of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wait. If you want to check out any of the channels that I collabed with to make this video possible, Possible. All their links will be down below. That Yo. is all seven has nothing of the to deadly. Fear. Hold on a second. We have a huge donation coming in there from um, Terrence Awola. Awola? Awola? Uh, I'm going to call you Terrence, man. Fuck that last name. You're fucking me up. He says, Yo, Etika, much love from London, the United Kingdom. Here's some good rap if you're interested. Don't send me your goddamn mixtape just because I was talking about. This nigga sent me his mixtape? No, hold on. This better not be your mixtape, nigga. He said, Here's some good music if you're interested. AJ Trey, okay, you know what? Actually, I'll check this. I, I don't think it's his mixtape. <laughs> it's just, it's just so funny. The second a, a nigga start bringing up, oh no, nah, this is my, this is my taste in rap. Niggas start sending me tracks. That'd be actually kind of hilarious if niggas send me their own mixtapes, thinking, oh heck, I got you. Rice school ain't that good, but this is what you're like. <laughs> yeah, you niggas are shameless. These niggas are shameless out here. It's like being on the street and niggas is back car hustling out here, man. Like, yo, check this out, bro. It's like, yo, I'm good, man. So no, it's free. Take it, please. I'm like. Oh. Nigga, I, ain't, I don't work with Sony Productions, bro. Um, Terrence, thank you, though, very much, man. I don't mean to clown you. I'm just being a motherfucking asshole as you. I'm being a bitch about it. But, yo, thank you very much for the donation. $30, I appreciate it. The stars came through. I saw those little coins pop in as well. I don't know what the fuck the deal is with that, but I appreciate it, man. Um, let's continue this shit. Sins, now it's time to finish where we started.
maybe at the end he might squeeze a diss track in there to show people that he can, you know, you know, give me a taste of my own medicine. Uh oh. That's not a bad idea. Uh oh. Hi Beast Hideout. Good evening, everyone. This is Jimmy Dean from Ten News. Why? And I'm here. Why is he about to get a diss track dropped on him by Idubs? Foot traffic from Hype Beast in and around this area, and we pinpointed it to this building. I'm about to risk my journalistic career by entering this room and trying to infiltrate this cult. But I hope you all understand, I'm doing this in the name of journalism. What's about I'm to happen? Interested in it for the money or the clothes? What's going on here, dog? High-end fashion as a whole behind this door. That's where they're at. Okay. Non let me can I get a nani in the chat, please? Niggas are like Ku Klux. Okay. Oh my god, what's about to happen? I dubs, you got me sitting at the edge of Niggas got I'm here to join your cult. Niggas got Yeezys in the middle. Oh shit! The boys are here! Papa yeah, Ethan! I'm I'm willing well, to get Ethan. over there uncle, on my uncle. knees. And I don't, oh yeah, punch. All I know is Uncle I Ethan. I don't know the other least. guys. <laughs> Sorry. Can I get one of those shirts at least? The, or the, the hoodie? hoodie? Just... <laughs> he bought Uncle Ethan. Why do you want like that? I'm proud do of you. Have polio? Oh God, no. This is about to get fucking real. This is about to get real. Oh! He said, I don't know if you're proud. <laughs> What? He has to think. He has that rap with him. Oh my God. I wanna be gay, cause you're fucked, and I wanna savor it. But it's cool. After smashing you off PayPal, you 2K. Oh no, you get in mad and knock the phone right out of my hand. That shit was fucking. I know that dude. I know that dude. Resolve shit with words. Talk like you eat some paste. Hey, is that your IQ or your age? Hey, say to your audience face. Hey, how Jacob's notorious taste. Hey, look afraid, must have seen a ghost rider. Well, ditto, little bitch, but I'm not scared to show mine. He brought that nigga in. Pretending ever since your little rice bowl descended. This nigga's ghost in the middle when you weren't capable of making a playground insult. That's bad. But then I heard you try to rap. I was more disappointed than when I found out Casey Nice Tat didn't have nice tats. Boy, gotta flex. Gotta flex, flex, flex. Ah. When you've got no personality, replace it with a Rolex. You really don't see your friends rolling their eyes, hoping to die. They're so tired to be throwing the prize of what you Niggas find. Niggas drinking the Kool Aid. No, 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 no. You think they're gonna That's say? The fans. He's talking about the fans. You make me so wet with your reckless spending. You've gained my respect and you're oh so funny. Please take me to your mansion and fuck me. You're fucking delusional. So try your best to remember. You're not a pimp. You're a borderline sex offender. Just boy a flavor of the month. But which is it, huh? A whiny Vietnamese wannabe gangster. It's salt and vinegar. You're <laughs> Without the talent, like Jackie Chan, but a little faggot, like Soldier Boy, but actually, yeah, you're exactly like Soldier Boy. Yeah. So you don't want to look like a little bitch, but dude, you're gonna be crucified. How can you claim that shit when you're too scared to go in on Beauty Pie? Little hot. Big boy, Beauty Pie! Suck my 5.3 inch. Oh, shit! Got pounded. I oh! Yell if you could pronounce it. Oh! Because you're Asian, that's what you want. Oh! 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 It's over! It's over! All you surface level would be an insult to the ground floor. Whatever you promise to follow, you quit. You can't persist for shit, you narcissistic prick. Your audience is fickle. Here's what I predict. Your channel's back what? to crash down to rubble. Oh no. How the fuck can someone go gum? Not realize they're in a bubble. But let me guess, I'm irrelevant, right? Oh! Isn't that fuck. your excuse? When you're too stupid to explain your views, cause you're as basic as a one block Rubik's Cube? You're an insecure, oh, no. unoriginal little Little bitch, and that's that. So come to think of it, you're actually the talk filter on Snapchat. Got cash, cash, money, and reviews and the clicks, and yet you're always gonna be a little bitch. Now I'm finished as planned. It was just three minutes, so it wasn't that bad, but I got one question to ask you, bro. Did it feel good though? He brought the rape joke up. It's iTunes and Spotify links. Down oh below. no! Please consider downloading. To support the channel, you could also use the beat to make a Minecraft parody of this song. This iDubs guy is pretty funny. 30 
minutes, 30 minutes of nothing but heat. He killed him. There's nothing left. There's nothing left, my boy. Nigga. Holy shit. I gotta call the cops. Hello? There's been a murder. Nigga, fuck. Oh my god, he killed him. Dude, nah, fuck that. Call it saying that he killed him. That, that's not even proper in this situation. This nigga, he, he fucking, he, he eviscerated him. I dubs eviscerated rice gum. Nigga bought everybody on that track. Holy shit. Uncle Ethan and PewDiePie? Say nigga! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit, I just. Alright. Mm -mm.